The viewers on this channel ask awesome questions, and in this video, I'm gonna be answering a bunch of them. Don't turn away, because all of that starts right now. Hey. Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster, and my son's cat, Mewtwo. I recently completed a live stream where I was asked some fantastic questions, but I didn't get to all of them. So in this video, I'm gonna tackle several surrounding steroid use. Let's jump in. What do you say? Lubna asks, doctor, is it okay to take a second course of steroids if they didn't work the first time and my MS symptoms didn't disappear? Lubna, to answer the question, I'm gonna to have to make a couple assumptions. I'm assuming that you're talking about an MS relapse or an MS attack where you are given high dose either oral or IV steroids at an appropriately high dose for three to five days with a goal of improving the attack symptoms and they haven't gotten better yet. There's a couple things to consider here. The first is that when you take corticosteroids for an MS attack, the action is to change the DNA of the white blood cells so they become less pro-inflammatory. And that benefit will continue literally for months. And so depending on the degree of the attack, one approach is to give it a little bit more time. Let's assume that it's a, a more significant attack and there's been no response. Yes, we could consider giving a second course of steroids. And there are many situations where this is exactly the right course of action. I do wanna bring up an alternative, particularly for a very, very severe attack. In these situations, we will sometimes admit the patient into the hospital and do a procedure called total plasma exchange or plasmapheresis. This is not a medicine, it's a procedure where we put in large bore IVs, typically in the neck, and then we take the blood out and filter out the autoantibodies and put the blood back in. And that's called a plasma exchange. And we'll typically do a plasma exchange once every other day for a total of five exchanges or 10 days. Now in the past, when I've had to do this for very severe attacks, I will sometimes add in steroids every other day. So plasma exchange, steroid, plasma exchange, steroid. And we'll continue that for the, the entire 10 days. This is reserved, however, for very severe attacks. Excellent question, thank you for asking. Before we go on, do me a favor. If you like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Thank you. David2629 asks, have you ever had a patient who has refused steroids before Ocrevus? I want to refuse the steroids as I don't like the balloon face it causes me. Well, David, I want to first start by sharing when we use steroids in this fashion, it's quite different than when we use steroids to treat an MS attack. When we treat an MS attack with IV steroids, we typically give 1000 milligrams, which is a really high dose. And we will repeat that for three to five days. In this instance, when you're giving steroids before Ocrevus or some other type of infusion, it's used as what's called a pre-medication. Oftentimes we'll give a much smaller dose of steroids like 100 or 125 milligrams IV. And this is done for a different purpose. It's done to help the body's immune response better tolerate receiving the Ocrevus. The goal of the steroids in this case is to make the Ocrevus so there's less of a cytokine release phenomenon and you're less likely to have infusion reactions. As a result, it's generally recommended that you take the steroid pre-medication before the Ocrevus. I have had situations off-label where the patient couldn't tolerate steroids for various reasons. And in a couple occasions, we have gone ahead and given a medicine like Ocrevus without steroids ahead of time, but it's not my recommendation. Each person is an individual and you have to weigh the risk benefit of the steroids or not. And it's definitely worth talking to your MS neurologist about it. Thanks for the question. Tyler Logan shares, steroids make me feel depressed. And Tyler, you bring up a really important point. All medicines have side effects and steroids are no exception. I sometimes will refer to steroids as a necessary evil. Necessary because it's our first line of defense to help someone recover from an MS attack. Evil because of the side effects. Many people who have to take steroids can have mood difficulties like you're describing depression or sometimes irritability or sometimes even anger and rage. They also can make you retain water weight. 
They also can make you really hungry and make food taste terrible. They also can give you really bad insomnia. There are also some really severe potential risks with steroids, things like steroid psychosis, things like diabetes, or things like GI bleed. Again, everything is a risk benefit. And when we're considering uh, giving steroids for an MS attack, we have to consider the severity of the attack and the desire to make it better faster against the potential risks. As it relates to your comment that steroids can make you depressed, that's not something to take lightly. And sometimes we need to take precautions and make sure, for example, that you're in a safe environment. There's even been cases where we admit the patient in the hospital to make sure that they're kept safe during the steroid treatment. Best of luck and thank you for sharing. The most impactful thing that you could do to help this channel grow is to watch another video. So if you wanna up your game, please click the video that's on your screen right now. And until my next Monday morning vid or my next live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.